I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Marlo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy, and the tech skills I taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folks so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the...? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Marlo! Dad! What are they? Max! Drop him, you... Milo had gone. The machine, too. But its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them! I told them there were demons stalking in the dark! The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, 
he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang-gang birds, scavengers, and in this wasteland, that meant only one thing, people. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. Hey, excuse me. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that... Ah, ah no! Damn birds! Wait, I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. corpse lay propped against a rock. No way I was going to get between those birds and their feast. Short on food, but maybe I had something in my bag I could spare. The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. The logo. I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself.
Welcome, unregistered Gap Lander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for... If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. So how do I register? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U-chip for your temporary ID. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. So go register! Remind me how to register with Union City? The immigration terminal is back there in the gardens. You want a U-chip? That's where you gotta go. Thanks. I've never seen a droid like you. And I've never seen a gap lander like you. I bet. And what is it you do? I tell gap landers like you to visit the immigration terminal and register. Let me know how that goes. What exactly is a U-chip? Don't they teach you gap landers anything? A U-chip stores your ID and personal data in a micro implant. The immigration terminal is easy to find. What's keeping you? The correct route is indicated by these signs. How do I get to immigration? The terminal is at the wall end of the garden. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Soon as you've registered, you can access the Minos devices. I'm looking for a vehicle that maybe came this way. A vehicle? Well, this is a freight entrance. So, you're in the right place. Right. I need to find a boy called Milo. He was... What you need to find is the immigration terminal. It's right over there. Can you help me find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. Have you seen a boy called Milo? No, but I do see an unregistered gap lander. Can you tell me about any vehicles that came through here a couple of nights ago? Read my... Lips. Immigration terminal. Register. You. Remind me how to register with Union City? The immigration terminal is back there in the gardens. You want a U-chip? That's where you gotta go. Thanks. I'll be going now. Pleasure. How can I be of assistance? There was a strange smell, and it was coming from the truck. I guess this was the immigration terminal. Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U-chip implant. Ouch! A U-chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. The guy looked like he'd been out in the sun a bit too long. It smelled like it too.
Those birds weren't going to let me anywhere near the back of the truck. Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you... Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. No, no, I'm not selling any... A likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That remains to be seen. What are you doing here? Well, whilst Bruce's power cell remains as flat as a cow pat, not a whole lot. So you're trying to get in the city? Ups of blooming lootly. Trying being the operative word. I take it this is your truck? It's got my name on it, don't it? Your name is... W? Well, some of it. And what exactly is it that you're hauling? Until I get the old boy back up and running, absolutely nothing. Old Bruce is taking a turn for the worse. What are you doing here? Why, I'm enjoying the sun and the sights, of course. Really? This place doesn't exactly scream tourist hotspot. No, you blithering twit. My truck's broken down and I'm stuck. You deaf or something? When the power cell is working, what are you hauling then? Mini K's. Artisanal, organic, handcrafted protein cylinders. At least that's what it says on the packet. Sounds expensive. Doesn't it? Between you and me, they're just knackworth sausages. But these city folk love a tagline. So, your truck is full of mini knockwurst? You betcha! Mini K! Best in the gap! Even contains some real meat! You're welcome to take it full. Back of the truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Ritual? Aye. Now listen carefully. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. Step two, do a little jig. Step three, pull the door and jerk it hard. Wallop, jig, pull. That it? That's it, lad. And remember the order. Those mini K's you mentioned. As I say, grab an handful. Truck's open. The doors, they're locked shut. Not locked, jammed. Oh, and I'm all out of lubricant. So how can I get in? Didn't you listen? It's a ritual. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye, emptier than a politician's vows. There was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours, turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini case cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the aircon, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained to nout. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice, until they send someone out to juice up Bruce's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Mind if I take a look at the power cell? I'm pretty handy with this sort of stuff. Hobsworth has it. Told me he'd have it charged in a jiffy. Great. How long ago was that? About a million jiffies ago. My guess is it's either gathering dust or it's being ground to dust. So all you need to get into the city is a charged power cell? Landsnitz alive, yes. A power cell. Do you want me to write it down? No, no, I got it. I had this sinking feeling that the wrecked power cell in Hobsworth's hut was the one that Wendell hoped would power his truck. I'm looking for a vehicle. Well, mate, today's your lucky day. This is a vehicle. No, I'm looking for a special vehicle. But Brucey is special. All he needs is his power cell and we'll be on our way. The vehicle I'm looking for had four legs and no wheels. A vehicle with legs? 
<laughs> Think you've got butts in your belfry, mate. I saw what I saw. It kidnapped a kid from my village. You're not the first I've heard talking about kids going missing in the gap. But I've never seen any come through here. Listen, you haven't seen a child come through here, have you? Hey, <laughs> pinch something of yours. No. He was kidnapped. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. Have you asked those kids over by the playground? They've been here a lot longer than me. Any vehicles come through here recently? Specifically, the four-legged variety. The only thing's been through here recently are birds, bad smells, and the occasional <coughs> light breeze. See, I've been following these tracks, but about a day and a half ago. All right, pal. Didn't ask for your life story. You sure you haven't seen any vehicles come this way? Those land trains pass through up top every few minutes. Nothing down here, though. What was that you said about other missing kids? N nothing specific. Come on, try me. Oh, just rumors. Voices on the wind, campfire tales. One man's kidnapping is another man's wandered off and fell down an hole, says I. No kids round here. Oh, except those young bucks over yonder. Sorry I can't help. I'll be back. I'll be here. I reminded myself of the collective noun. A murder of gang gangs. I recognized the girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. It was the girl I'd seen earlier. Excuse me. Hello? You! Me what? You're the guy in the desert. And you're the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my date. Lost your what? To who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the Gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deed, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now, excuse me. What's a DEET? My DEET, man. D-T-T. Diana Transfer Tool. DEET. What's the DEET for? Duh. Transferring data. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted me, and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. Who's Big Steve? You see all these birds all over the place? Big Steve's the purple one, with a beak full of my deet. Tell me about this deet. Simple. I collect IDs and I use the deet to swap them. At least I did, until Big Steve grabbed it. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? I told you already, I was deeting his ID. Only now, Big Steve has my deep and, ipso facto, the ID. So are you digging that guy's U-chip out of his hand? What? No! Data transfer. I told you. I cloned his ID data onto the deed for later. What happens later? Well, you know, maybe someone doesn't want to be found. I do swap these. For a price? Uh, yeah. I got a U-chip with a temporary ID from over there. Good for you. They're free. 
Can I get into the city with it? No. And yes, and no. Break that down for me. No, a temp idea so they can keep track of you around here. Won't get you inside. Yes, I could deep that corpse's ID onto a U-chip. And no, because as you well know, my deet's been eaten. Did you see a strange vehicle come through this way? Strange? You mean like that stinky one there? No, this one had legs. Not seen anything like that. Maybe you didn't either, crazy guy. I'm not crazy. Sure you're not. I just need to know if you've seen a missing kid come this way. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel, and the only thing they're missing is a few screws. Are you sure you haven't seen a young boy? Kinda hard to get lost in a crowd here. This place ain't exactly Aspiration Plaza. So no, I haven't seen your kid. Any idea whose body that was out there? Dunno, just some guy from the city. How do you know? Cause I got the citizen's ID from his U-chip, duh. What do you trade? Like I said, sometimes people from outside want stuff from the inside. Sometimes people from inside want stuff from the outside. Second one doesn't happen very often since inside's got like everything and free. But it happens. Suppose a guy from outside wanted to get inside. Ah, my most popular item. Until Big Steve took my date, that is. That's all for now. Thanks. Anytime. Oh wait, no. Come back if you want to talk business. For someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty no- Hey kid. Hey weird guy. My name's not weird guy. I'm Pixel. It's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. So it does. I'm Foster. I'll remember that easy, because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. Thanks, kid. What's wrong with the roundabout? It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobsworth put a chain on it. He said it was for safety, then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> What's your story, Pixel? Well, I'm eight years old, and my birthday is in only 64 days. I'm really good at math, and I can even lift my sister. And she's super fat! <laughs> Very comprehensive. Yep. Anything I can help you with today? Did a vehicle come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago? Oh, then definitely no. But wait. Two nights ago, my brother, Voxel, he saw this giant monster. What kind of monster? Like a totally huge, but not real one. Huge, but not real? I mean, Voxel says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? I don't know what to believe. What's this about a giant monster? Right, so my brother Voxel, like two nights ago, it was night time, right? And we had been playing this massive game of buzzsaws and dynamos, so I was like, Wah! But, uh, where was I? The giant monster. Oh yeah, right. So, later that night, he wakes me up screaming about how he saw a giant monster. And? That's the end of my story. Don't tell Ember I told you. What do you do here? Well, me and my brother and my sister usually live in a tribe way over that way by the old burnt down radio tower. But it's like so boring there. We come here for the action. I can see why. Who's Voxel? My brother, remember? Can I talk to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Won't speak to nobody but me. 
Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Nah, -uh. you gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. Your roundabout probably has a chain on it for a reason. Yeah, and that reason is Mr. Hobsworth is stupid. Can you fix it? Listen, about this monster. Jeez, man, why are you so obsessed with monsters? They're not real. This vehicle, it had legs instead of wheels. Vehicles don't have legs, though. This one did. Your brother saw a monster, right? You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, that it was a giant daddy long legs. No, that your brother's monster was actually... A very small daddy long legs, but very close to him? No. I caught a daddy long legs once. What was your question? What's wrong with Voxel? Like, why is he hiding? Yeah. I told you, man. He thinks he saw a monster. Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe we can help each other out with our monster problems. Nuh-uh. -uh. You gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. I'm looking for a boy about your age named Milo, who may have come through here. You're asking the right guy? I remember every face that's come through here since I was a little kid. Yeah? How many's that? Like, at least 12. How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. You sure you haven't seen any children come through here? Nope. Definitely would have remembered. What about anything suspicious? Suspicious? Yeah, there was this one guy. Tall, wearing a big coat and carrying a purse. I see. Nice one. And his name was Fossil! <laughs> I got the joke, kid. See you around. Call it if you need anything. He was a scruffy looking technician. Excuse me. Oh, hello, visitor. What's up with your bollard? Maybe I can help. <laughs> you? Sure. Hey, listen, Mr. Gaplander, it's totally cute that you want to help, but this mechanism is a teeny bit more advanced than what you're used to. You'd be surprised. I'm pretty handy with these sorts of things. Sorry, got to get back to this bollard. It ain't gonna fix itself. One of the posts was jammed. Piece of cake. Dude, Council sure is shining in my direction today. Do you know how many times I've scanned this thing? The last scan must have done the trick. You see, I'm the diagnostician and tech expert around here. Name's Hobsworth. What can I do for you? So what's your deal, Hobsworth? I am a diagnostician for the Ministry of Comfort. And what exactly does a diagnostician do? I find problems. And fix them? Uh, no, I just diagnose them. Minos fixes them. Do you need technical expertise to be a diagnostician? Of course! You need to know exactly where to point your scanner. See, I come to work and I pick up my scanner here and then I report the problem. 
My interventions are key to the smooth running of Union City. Nice jacket. Oh, thanks. I like yours too. Tell me about Joey. Praise Joey. Not a day goes by where I don't thank him for the happiness and prosperity he brought to Union City. Joey and I go way back. We must be talking about the same one. Well, it depends. Our Joey was kind, benevolent, generous, firm, resolute, moral, magnanimous, proactive, and a friend to all citizens alike. Does that sound like your Joey? Hmm. My Joey was more of a sarcastic pain in the... But he was my best friend. I'm looking for a vehicle that might have passed this way. What kind of vehicle? Maybe I can help. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I know it has four giant legs. Legs? <laughs> Word to the wise man. Vehicles have wheels. Not this one. It walked on the sand. And it was, um, shaped like a dog. Whoa, that doesn't sound like any vehicle I've ever heard of. And I've got more magazines under my bed than you can even imagine. It's really important I find this vehicle. Why? Because it kidnapped a child from my village. Well, that's a gap for you. It's like the Wild West, but, you know, without the West. I know it sounds crazy, but I've been tracking the missing child for... Nah, if it's missing children you're looking for, you best try the gap, not here. Good day now. How are things going with Wendell's power cell? It's in my office. But how long until it's charged? Uh, it's hard to say, but it's on my list. Any updates on Wendell's power cell? Not yet, but I'll get on to it soon. About this missing kid. Dude, word of advice, huh? Since you're new here? Okay. Look, maybe kidnapping is the sort of thing you people do in the Gap. But this is Union City, man. We're a proper society. Gotcha. Thanks. See you around, Hobsworth. Oh. Before I forget, I really appreciate your patience back there when I was fixing the bridge. Let me thank you properly. Give me your hand. Uh, okay. There you go. Your kudos just got a boost. Thanks, I think. Keep a smile on your face. Quite, quite good. The bridge seemed to be operated by some sort of hand scanner. permission. Citizen ID required. Thanks, Ember. Light a man.
hologram showed a young woman in uniform. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Welcome to Union City. My name is Greta. It is my duty and pleasure to answer any questions you may have about Union City and the local area. How may I help you today? This U-chip thing, what does it do? It allows you to interact with all the Minos devices in the area, as well as storing all your personal information. Sounds kind of invasive. We prefer the word transformative, sir. So is Joey still running things around here? He was, until just a few years ago. That doesn't sound good. Hope he didn't screw things up. Not at all, sir. Joey the Savior was a great leader. Citizen happiness reached unprecedented levels. Good to hear it. I happen to be an old friend of his. Oh, we're all friends of Joey, sir. Gone but not forgotten. Is there some way I can speak to Joey? Sadly not, sir. Oh, you mean he's not around at all? Gone to a better place, sir. Went to find peace after a lifetime of service. Some say he strode out into the gap one morning. Others say he took a boat at dusk and went to explore other lands. So who runs the city now? The Council of Elected Ministers, of course. I'm looking for a vehicle. Has anything come through here? No. You haven't seen a weird vehicle with legs instead of wheels? Polite apology. I cannot discuss the details of other visitors' vehicular movements. But this vehicle, it kidnapped a child. Is there anything else I can help you with today? A child has been kidnapped from my village. From your village? Was the child a registered citizen of Union City? No, his name is Milo and... Polite apology, Minos could only concern itself with registered citizens. Ah, uh, I was hoping you'd be able to help. And isn't hope a wonderful thing? In the meantime, do you have any other queries? So you didn't see a vehicle? As I said, sir, I cannot discuss vehicles. But I'm sure you said no a moment ago. I think sir is mistaken. Intrigued as I am by the notion of vehicles with legs, regulations deter me from such speculation. Have you seen any children come through this gate in the past two days? Polite apology. I cannot discuss the details of other visitors. Okay, then. Have you had any other reports of kidnapping? Not of Union citizens. What about others? Gaplanders? Gaplanders are of no concern to Union City. Have a nice day. In Union City, sir, there is no other kind of day. Gang gangs look mean and ugly. One particularly large and familiar bird stood out from the rest. The bird's beak looked especially vicious. Something strange about the water, and there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Up close, I could see the water was holographically concealing an electric fence. There was an electric fence back there. I wondered if it was live. Ow! I was shocked to discover that it was. No wonder the gang gangs kept clear of this death trap. Work order received. Work order accepted. Hey, me again. Hi again. I've just seen Big Steve, and he's still got your deed. Thanks a bunch. I hope it rips his gizzard on the way through. No, I mean, he's still got it in his beak. 
Well, that's something. Not sure what, but it's something. So Big Steve is the bird with your teeth. That's right, the big fat purple one. See you around. Light a man. Hey, kid. Push me! Uh... Push me! I've got things to do. Push me! Got a moment? What do you need, mister? Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe. Yeah, okay. You've done me a favor. He's hiding in a bench in the garden. I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem okay. Any idea how I can get more answers out of Voxel? I don't know, but I'm getting sick of the whole monster thing. Any idea how I can get more answers out of Voxel? I don't know, but I'm getting sick of the whole monster thing. Bye. Call it if you need anything. How can I be of assistance? Voxel was hiding out in the makeshift den. Hello, Voxel. Shh. What? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. Um. I wanted to ask you if you've seen any monsters. <laughs> How do you know about the monster? Your brother, Pixel. Stupid, stupid Pixel. He's so stupid. Go away. Me again. Can we talk some more? Hi. I'm looking for a missing kid. He came through this way a couple of nights ago. His name is Milo. He's about Pixel's age. And my age. Have you seen him? No, I haven't seen anything. I've been in this fortress where it's safe. Safe from what? The monster. Voxel, about this monster. Truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster across the desert for days. I think he came through here. And I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Um, I saw it. Can you describe it? It was big and beasty, and it eats children, and I could hear the screaming, and it was fast and dark and silent. Slow down, one thing at a time. It was big, like a giant dog. A giant dog? That sounds like what I'm after. Did you see any children? No, but I heard them. I heard kids crying inside its tummy. And where did it go? It sneaked off into the city. After that, I got in here. No way am I gonna let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? Any ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you gonna go in there and kill it? Sure am. That's what monster hunters do best. Then I'm gonna bring Milo and the other children back out. You will? Oh, you better take this. Thanks. What is it? A firecracker. I was gonna use it to kill the monster. But you can have it. What do I do with this firecracker? I don't know. Throw it at the monster. But cover your ears.
this giant dog. Where did you see it? I was playing buzzsaws and dynamos with Pixel. I won, and he was really cross. Then, in the night, I woke up. It was totally dark. I'd heard this sound, like feet padding along the road, big feet. And then I heard screams, children's screams. I ran over here and hid in my fort. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah, I'm hungry. Do you know how I can get inside the city? I already said you need to get across the river and through the big doors. Did anyone else see the dog? I... I don't think so. No one believes it even exists. But you do, don't you? You believe me? Don't worry, Voxel. I'm on the hunt. What do I do with this firecracker? Whatever you want. It makes a scary bang. How long ago did you see this dog? Um, it was one, two, three, two. It was two nights ago. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah, I'm hungry. Can you tell me more about these missing kids? Only that I heard them inside the monster. How long ago did you see this dog? I said already, two nights ago. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah, I'm hungry. See you around. Hey, you got anything to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, I could keep an eye out. Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. He doesn't usually know that, though. Ah, understood. Voxel's giant dog sounded a lot like the stalker that had taken Milo. Now I was sure that the stalker had entered the city. There had to be a way in through the main gates. Hey, Pixel. How can I help? Do you know how to get into the city? Oh, if I knew that, would I be living in this car park? Do you know anything about the city? Yes, it's amazing. How do you mean? You should hear Mr. Hobbsworth talk about it. It's like you say, I want a sandwich, and blam, you've got a sandwich in your hand. And then you drop your sandwich on the floor and make a mess, and it's instantly cleaned up. You don't have to do anything yourself. And then you say, I want another sandwich, and blam, another sandwich. And that's for, like, anything, not just sandwiches. What else can you tell me about the city? It's amazing! You said that. How do you know if you've never been inside? Easy. Rubbish. Rubbish? Have you seen some of Ember's stuff? Ember's my sister. She figures out how old tech works. Ember is super smart, but don't tell her I said that. Anyway, just over there, like a half day's walk, that's where all the rubbish from the city gets dumped out of a huge pipe. Loads of it. Now, I figure if that's what they throw out, imagine what they've got inside. That's actually pretty sound logic. Have you ever seen anyone go inside the city? Sure, all the time. But like, in a truck and that. Bye. Call it if you need anything. A makeshift workbench had been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over-reliant on some old deflated tires. I hadn't seen one of these terminals in 10 years. Link, the evil behind everything that happened all those years ago. The attack on my village, the death of my mother. Nothing happened, probably because the machine had had its innards ripped out.
Hobbsworth, was it? Ah, oh, hello again, stranger. This may sound like a stupid question, but how do I actually get into the city? Well, first thing would be to head over to the city gates. Uh, yes? If you got a valid ID, then just scan your U-chip, and the bridge will open. Valid for what? Now, that is a stupid question. You need a vehicle to get through the big doors there. If you have transport clearance, like that old fella with the smelly truck, you just drive up, scan your ID, and roll right onto the elevator down to the cargo bay. So, you haven't seen any vehicles? Nothing like you've described. Sorry. About this missing kid. I can't help you there. Now, please stop asking. It makes me kind of uncomfortable, you know what I mean? See you around, Hobsworth. Keep a smile on your face. Right. Hit the bumper. These were not my best moves. Come on, big fella. Amber. Hi again. Guess what I found? A lot of nerve coming back here. Nope. This. What? My deed? I'll have that. Sure, but how about I give you the deed in exchange for the citizen ID that's on it? The deed for the ID? But... You wouldn't have it back if it weren't for me. It wouldn't have been stolen if it weren't for you. So we're even. <sighs> I suppose that's sort of fair. Excellent. When do we start? Have you got a U-chip? Yes. My hand is still stinging. Right then. Let's get this over with, yeah? Pass me back my deed, hmm? I'll need to hook the deed up to my workbench here. Ember's deed had a citizen ID stored on it. You ready to do this? I'm not entirely sure what this is. Oh. You want that citizen's ID, right? Yeah. What do I need to do? Cool. Just place your hand flat on the U-chip scanner. Over here on my workbench.
Uh, like this? Yeah, good enough. Let me just line up the laser. Oi, keep your hand still or you'll lose it. Uh, is this gonna hurt? No more than getting the chip installed in the first place. Right, just transferring the ID now. You may feel a slight pinch. What was that? That wasn't supposed to happen? There it is again. Must be... Nothing. It must be nothing. Looks like his name was Graham. A fine, upstanding citizen. <laughs> Graham. Got it. Good luck, citizen Graham. At last I had a citizen ID. I hoped that this was going to be my key to getting into the city. Amber. Hi again. I spoke to Voxel about his monster problem. You what? I think his monster is the vehicle I've been tracking. Oh, good for you. So you told him the monster was real? Won't be seeing him anytime soon. Nice one, Super Dead. Do you know how I can get into the city? You try the bridge? No. Seems a good place to start. Voxel's a skittish one, isn't he? Watch your mouth. How'd you know where to find him anyway? Pixel told me. Mate, I don't know you, you don't know me, you don't know them. Let's keep it that way. Stop asking questions, finish your business, and move along. Meanwhile, where's Pixel? Me and him need to have some words about stranger danger. See you around. Bye now. Graham's ID was finally starting to get me places. The console seemed specialized. cell was completely wrecked. It looked like some sort of scanning device. Me again. Can we talk some more? Hi. Can I grab another one of those firecrackers? Sorry, mister. That was the last one. Food delivery for Mr. Voxel. Oh, yes. One of Hobsworth's city sangers. Do you want my crusts? You eat them. Warriors need their strength. Bye. Managed to get those doors open all right. Just about. Did you uh, do the jig? Sure did. You said it was essential. That's right. Although, here's a funny thing. My wife never does the jig back at the farm. But it always seems to open for her. Anyway, what can I do for you? Want one of these mini-Ks? Oh, um... 
better not. I thought you loved them. Oh, oh, of course I do. They're delicious. What? Don't get high on your own supply. Sorry? No scoffage on thine own sausage. Oh, I see. Suit yourself. Do you need a vehicle to get into the city? You do, but I don't. I've got Brucey here. What I do need is a new power cell. And you can't just walk in? Are you mad? Walk into the city? <laughs> There's guns guarding their main gates, and they'd make mincemeat out of you, Sonny Jim. Any ideas on how I can get into the city? Aye, that's easy. You just need one small thing. Great. What? A truck. <laughs> what? Like yours? No, not like mine. You want one that actually moves under its own power. That being said, you won't even get across the bridge without an authorized ID. Citizen's ID gets you all the way into the city, privileges and all. I've got ID all right, but my power cell's empty. Long story short, I could drive in. If I could drive in. Any other vehicles around here I could use? There's now round here. I need to get into the city as soon as possible. Uh, me too, pal. But Brucey is not going anywhere. So these mini -Ks, what are the other ingredients? Eh? You said they contain some real meat. What's the rest made up of? Flavor. Yes, but... Your mini -Ks are starting to smell a little ripe. I prefer to think of it as aged to perfection. But... Aged to perfection. Be seeing you. Bye. Error. You took firmware outdated. Authority for vehicular access denied. The firmware on my U-chip was out of date. I realized that I'd been sold a dud by Ember. Hey, Ember. Hi again. There's a problem with this ID you gave me. I tried the bridge, but it wouldn't let me through. Apparently, my U-chip is out of date. Oh, right. They had to replace the hand scanner recently. Must be running on new firmware. Much newer than the crappy U-chips from that old terminal. What happened to the old hand scanner? No idea. Why would you even ask that? I didn't take it. Shut up! Either way, the ID you gave me doesn't work. Hey, listen, guy. The ID is tip-top. It's your U-chip that's the problem. It's old. Like you. Well, have you got any newer replacements? Nuh-uh. That U-chip is in you now. It stays there. You'll need to run an update, but my guess is you can only do that inside the city. And without the update, I can't get across the bridge. I appear to be at an impasse. Yikes. Well, that ain't good. Could maybe hack the bridge, but... Nah. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Did you say hack? Okay. So you know how everything here runs on Minos? Minos? Surely that's not based off the old Link system. That's right. When they upgraded, they dumped the old Link tech. Smart shoes, smart toasters, smart light bulbs, smart fridges. Minos makes everything smart, smart, smart. Except the humans. <laughs> anyway, you know how Hobsworth is always pointing his scanner at stuff? Yeah. That's his Minos scanner. Minor scanners let guys without any smarts figure out how machines work. Old Hobsworth has all kinds of safeguards so he can't mess things up more when they break. But with a few modifications... Can you do more than just diagnose Minos machines? Much more. Could I borrow your hacker? <laughs> Is that a no? <laughs> Could I maybe trade you something for your hacker? Honestly, probably not. Okay, so if you won't trade me for that hacker, 
Could you make me one? For a price, and a whole lot of inconvenience. What do you mean? For starters, you need one of Hobsworth's minor scanners. You get me one of them, and then we can talk about next steps. You mean this thing? Oh, you found one already? Where'd you get it? It was just lying around in Hobsworth's hut. He really should be more careful. All right then. Let's see what else you've got in that bag that might be worth my time, trouble, and effort. How about a delicious mini K made with mostly real... I heard that before. Not interested. I don't know if you can use this, but how about this finger? Okay, creepy. Let me take a look. Whoa! Okay, this is some serious kit. The micro-actuators alone are worth a bundle. So it's a deal then. You'll hack this scanner, and the finger is yours. You betcha. Pleasure doing business with you. Meet me at my workbench when you're ready. All right, one ember grade Minos hacker. Thanks. So how do I use this thing? You activate scan mode, obviously. Okay, got it. Yeah, well, that's the easy part. Now follow me. This is how I find hidden systems. They're all over the place. There you go. One just popped into range. Right, so this here is a diagnostic view of Minos. Looks like it runs the vending machine. No kidding. See those task nodes? The darker ones? Yeah. Well, unlike Hobbsy's little vanilla scanner, my hacker can swap them round. So let's see how smart you are. Wanna give me an infinite supply of spankles? You did it! <clears throat> You're smarter than you look. Okay, apply the hack and you'll be good to go. All right, mate, figure the rest out yourself. Oh, and try not to do anything too stupid, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 